What's going on everyone, this is Dom and welcome to Epic Tech Under 200. First up, we're taking a look at the new Helix M series wireless speaker system from Y Audio. And these are wireless hi-fi speakers capable of outputting lossless audio at 24 bit 96 kilohertz from a computer, iOS, or Android device. What makes this system special is the tech behind it. They aren't powered by Bluetooth or traditional Wi-Fi, but actually its own 1880 to 1980 megahertz network. So they won't drag down your bandwidth like normal Wi-Fi Wi-Fi speakers and pack a long transmission range up to 75 feet away indoors or 150 feet outdoors. These little speakers pack a pretty good punch for their size and an impressive 30 hour battery life. And setting things up is super simple. Just connect the USB transmitter dongle to a computer or a mobile device with a USB adapter and once you're plugged in, power up the speakers and everything is all set with a true left and right stereo image. You can even connect up to 16 freaking Helix M speakers to one dongle for the ultimate audio setup and because they operate on their own private network there's no strain on your wi-fi network or choppy audio signals there are no apps to download no networks needed they sound awesome and they happen to look pretty cool as well with color options of either white or black and if you want to pick up a set for yourself or find out more info they are available on indiegogo right now starting at 179 bucks and i will leave a link below for you if you want to check them out next up we're taking a look at one of the most premium built apple watch docs I've come across, and this is the watch stand from Watchplate. And if you're not familiar with these guys, they actually offer gold plating for Apple Watches, and I'll leave a link below if you want to check them out. But not only is this dock gold plated, it's also made from solid stainless steel. It's got a pretty nice and shiny look to it, which perfectly matches the Apple Watch Edition or a gold plated Apple Watch. And because of the materials here, this dock ain't moving. It completely hides the charging puck's cable with a matching cover that easily snaps into place with magnets and there's even a skid-free leather base that will prevent any surfaces from scratching. It's a pretty nice looking dock and even comes along with a very unique packaging design that's definitely on another level. The watch stand is available in gold, rose gold, polished steel, or black chrome. And the good news is you can even get a matching Apple Watch to go along with it if you opt for Watch Plate's $349 plating service. And I've done a video on this in the past, which I will link below if you want to check that out. But in short, I highly recommend it if you're looking for a fancy Apple Watch watch dock. The gold plated version of the watch stand will run you a little above this video's price point, but as mentioned, there's a polished stainless steel version that's available for $199, and I'll leave a link below to that if you want to check it out. Coming up next, we're taking a look at one of the best Xbox controllers on the market. This is the Elite controller, and it packs enough fire for just about any type of gamer. The new Elite controller will allow you to swap between a variety of metal thumbsticks and D-pads to suit your style and needs. It also features hair trigger locks on a per-trigger base that completely stop the trigger movement after you've taken the shot and everything can be fine-tuned within the app. There are also configurable paddles that can easily be attached to the back side of the controller without tools, allowing you to keep your thumbs on the thumbsticks while simultaneously executing other mapped out actions. It's possibly the best Xbox One controller out there and the demand speaks for itself because, well, it's kind of sold out right now. But if you want to give it a look for yourself, it sells for 150 bucks and I'll link it below for you. And alternatively, you can pick up the Xbox One Elite bundle as well, which includes the Elite controller, and both of those links will be in the description. Next, we have Sphero's BB-8, and this is the ultimate Star Wars-themed app-enabled toy that's super fun to play with. Sphero is essentially a remote-controlled ball, and as simple as that sounds, it's operated from your smartphone, but this is fully decked out in Star Wars goodness. This little guy is pretty easy to control after some practice, and if you don't feel like controlling it, you can actually set it up in autonomous mode and let it do some exploring itself. It'll last you about an hour on the internal battery and comes along with a pretty cool charging dock when it's time to juice things up. And this is without a doubt the coolest Star Wars toy ever, and it's a ton of fun to play with. And if you want to pick up some Star Wars action for yourself, Sphero's BB-8 is available for just under 150 bucks, and I'll be sure to link it below for you. Finally, we have some of the best over-ear headphones on the market, Meet Audio Technica's ATH M50X. I actually picked these up during a Black Friday sale recently, and I've been blown away by the entire package. They feature 45mm drivers, excellent clarity, and are extremely comfortable for extended listening periods. They also pack a frequency response ranging from 5 to 40,000 hertz, a 97 decibel sensitivity rating, and feature a 90 degree ear cup swivel design. Oh, and along with that, they also look pretty damn awesome. The headphones come along with a nice carrying bag for storage, and even feature detachable cables, which will allow you to swap between the three included 
cable styles in the box. They are quickly becoming my favorite headphones and I can easily recommend them, even at the current $160 price tag. But keep an eye on them because the price does seem to fluctuate often as I scored my set for just 114 bucks. But links below if you wanna check that out for yourself. So that about wraps it up for Epic Tech under 200 and be sure to check out the links below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already for more videos like this in the future. Thanks again for watching everyone. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.